Nvidia's RTX 4090 is definitely one hell of a GPU in terms of performance, but a fire and price hazard nonetheless. However, with the Radeon RX 7900 XTX on the way, things might take a drastic turn in the GPU segment. We already have a first look at the car floating around the internet and plenty of info regarding the specs that it will include. With that being said, in today's video, we're going to compare these two GPUs head on to figure out which one makes more sense. Among all the RX 7000 series GPUs that are about to launch, RX 7900 XTX is expected to be the flagship and most high-end GPU in this series. The card looks that part as well, all thanks to the leaked images coming from renowned Twitter leaker 9550 Pro. The triple fan design and gunmetal finish on this card look premium yet have a minimal vibe to them. But what really caught our eyes is the dual 8-pin connectors that will be used to power up this GPU. Unlike Nvidia's 16-pin connector that's catching on fire, RX 7900 XTX seems to be in a much safer spot. Talking about Nvidia, things seem to be on the adverse side for Team Green. While we do agree that the RTX 49's performance and feature set are unlike anything we've ever seen before, the connector is definitely a fire hazard for most. News about users facing RTX 49 connector melding is popping up here and there on a daily basis. On top of that, they had to unlaunch the RTX 4080 12GB version due to it being criticized for actually being the 4070 in disguise. And lastly, Nvidia's anti-consumer behavior has enraged tons of gamers all around the globe which is further adding spice to the entire GPU scene. With all the scribbles going on in the GPU market, people are putting high hopes on the upcoming RX 7000 series GPUs. With that out of the way, let's go through the internal specs of both these GPUs to figure out how well they hold up against each other. Starting with the RTX 4090, it packs 24GB of GDDR6X memory with a base clock speed of 2.23GHz that can be boosted up to 2.52GHz. With 16,384 CUDA and 128 ray tracing cores, this graphics card performs as beefy as it looks. According to Digital Trends 3D Mark Times Pi testing, we are looking at 31,409 scores for the RTX 4090, which is unlike something we've ever seen before towards generational performance. This holds true for ray tracing as well, as we can see the RTX 4090 extracting about 42 FPS in 4K DirectX 12 testing for Cyberpunk. While the RX 7900 XTX is yet to be launched, we already have the specs for it. According to VideoCards.com, RX 7900 XTX is based on the RDNA 3 architecture with about 12,288 stream processors and 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory on a 384-bit memory bus. While both these cards appear pretty close to each other specs-wise, we are super excited to see what else AMD has in store for us that can one-up the game. We will be back again with more updates on the Radeon RX 7900 as soon as they hit the shelves. So, that was all about the Radeon RX 7900 XTX vs RTX 4090 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.